previously on Mafia. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. Hey, buddy. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! You're cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard, he can't even let us have this one racket. Sammy, oh Jesus, what have they done to you? I got caught. Christ, that's a lot of blood. Evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. The doctor already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. I'm gonna be fine. Okay. Hey. You're good tonight. You're late. Dinner's cold. Work. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. The books are gone, Tom. Frank. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. Told him to get on a plane. God damn you, Frank. Got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. 
There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. Really glad I, uh... You know the job. Don't let me down. Is that down. the cutscene? Si. Is that the, uh... Who can be sure? Subtitles Tommy. English. If you bump into Watkins, so that I can then... It'll just Italian. bring down more heat. You the Italian is spoken. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Case of point. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di... di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> I have no idea what you said. Be forward. Alrighty. Jumping back into it. Decided to uh, call it after like five hours of recording. Last night. Figured uh, we'd try and finish this game tonight. Probably not. italiano. Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the bus told me. Uh, please, uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Cristo Santo. Ok, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. Si. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Si. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro casa forte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Eccellente. Why set me up with a dude that only speaks Italian? If I don't know Italian. Like, come on now. Just ask me for trouble. Ah, oh, fuck. I was, I, was, I was busy looking at the, uh, site. Yeah, this game. Make condition. 
only wrecked into a pole 58 times. Slightly used. Never flipped. Actually, no, wait, no, I, I'm pretty sure I flipped this car. Like, early on. Echo. Entriamo da lì. Over. Wall. Over. Ball. What? Oh. Amaze. <laughs> oh, Labidi. Stay here while I take out the guards. Let's, let's do this. Look for a dipinto. Uh, what? Um, da Vinci, Caravaggio, uh, I capito. Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? Si, si. Okay, I understand. I have no idea what painting is behind, well, by the way. Well, uh, guess we got another one. I saw a person play this, like, way back when, and I wasn't really paying full attention. So I have no idea where to look. So this is gonna be super fun. Another here, Salvatore. Oh look, an office. You ready? You ready? Painting? In the office? Oh I called it. I called it. Ah, bravo. Uh, uh. Scusa. Scusa. Sure. Show me what you can do. Someone's pulling up, and I didn't close Shit. any of the doors. There's also bodies all over the place. No idea what they're seeing. Nice work, excuse me. Akura! And I call it to alarm! What? Inzappolato! Doesn't matter! Come on, we need to get out of here! Vai dietro, dietro! Alright, well, this is gonna be fun. What's up, bro? Can I close the door too? Damn it. Hmm. Any adventures now? Oh wow, this is a really shitty bat uh, bedroom. You got that like a big ass office that like beautiful bedrooms like this and then you just have like that uh cell <laughs> it's a prison cell what it is i'm on him get a better shot go no yeah, get him oh, shit. Get him. go ahead go ahead i dare you Nope, not going that way. Not going that way. Get him on my back. Sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear you. Escape the mansion. Why is it telling me to go that way? Salvatore, stay back! 
I'll deal with him. Eyes open, guys. Over here! Get your first time. Taking this car. Yo, this car sick. Seahawks coming, bro? Are you kidding me? Gotta represent. Presto. Semina Presto. I know. Whatever you're saying, I know. Police? Shortcut activated. This is probably a really bad idea. I'm just saying this might kill me. This might kill me. This might kill me. Oh, we're good. Wow. I don't know how I got away with that. That really didn't do me many favors, though. Lost. Salvatore. Beautiful. Where do I take you now? Home. Yeah. Where, Where home? home. Uh, <laughs> six uh, and uh, my pole. Okay. Let's go. Uh, this thing is. Uh, this thing is pretty nice. I have to keep this one. Hopefully, a cutscene doesn't remove it from my uh, possession or my driving. Officer, officer, officer. Don't hit. Thank you. But somehow that wasn't a traffic violation enough. Tony, devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? This is passion. Porca puttana! Tony. Devo dirti una cosa. How did I not die? Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa. Ed è tutta colpa tua. Honestly? Loki wanted to take that car. Per rispetto della nostra patria. È come parlare al mio cane, lo so. Ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Sure. Oh. Cristo Santissimo! <sighs> Good night. <laughs> night. Oh, how am I alive? Oh, I'm not keeping this car, am I? Damn it. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Convert them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah. And you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. 
They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tip? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we got to do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. Sick. We won't let you down, boss. Won't let you down, boss. Regret giving you some time out there in the street. Love how measly is. You don't have to worry about me. Can I, I, know, can I, I walk know. a little bit faster? Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Wonderful kind of boys. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. Okay, Carlo. Looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you've put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road, wait until he's finished with his broad. <laughs> If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an airing. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is we're Gates sell or Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part that. of the renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then... Then you get to pick holes. Till so then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, uh, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ. A little rusty behind the wheel, Tommy. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Place seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Polly? Only that he's got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there.
Polly, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <sighs> Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, uh, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! Now this is what we call proper shootout right here. It looks and take the booze and get my guys will come for me go 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 so long as you guys clear them out up ahead i'll be safe here with the little guy carlo in the cab with me you know you stead tommy check for more of them this thing ain't over come on i'll back you up we got more of them over here no <laughs> and watch my back. Sure, Sam. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it! We 
got more guys on us. Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts. Them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Nice. Back to talking to the detective. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Woken up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything, except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Paulie had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. 
Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was the missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. of his face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Anyway, he came through Hmm, that's a nice ride. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. You need a boost of focus, drive, and determination. Look no further. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person, though. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. Must be nice for you. Some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. That's better conversation, boss. i give you that. Sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though. We're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. I have been looking forward to this all week. Where will you taste the cassandra, Tom? Oh. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don Solieri. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Danny, oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? See, please. <laughs> and to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the rough, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. <laughs> Peppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> What the hell? Morello! Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Yeah, I'd rather not. But you guys can go ahead and die. Let me to out, demonstrate. Yo. Shit, watch out! We 
aren't going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Yes, sir. Hey, cool. We're on the front. Take them out, Tom. Go. You're finished. Ugh. Come and get me, you son of bitches. I was lucky. Grenades. <laughs> Bounce it off of him. on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's shacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Step on it, Tom. Is Every ass. minute Carlos still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Oh, sure, bus. Oh, Can't so believe good. these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his son's, I'll be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. What's with you driving like a moron? How far are we driving anyway? No what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. Let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. Uh, 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 what the fuck? 
fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, bus? Yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Ah! Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! I have no intent on it. All right, Carlo. We're ready to get fucked. Help! Help me, someone! Can I, Come can back I here, okay. Carlo! Going to kill me. Can I can I run faster too? Hey, we ain't finished with you. There we go. Oh, oh, nope. I can alive I'm not sure really you had to censor it with a clothesline come on now we're sure Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. That's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Trying to have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> so the Ari must have figured Carlo was there. God damn it. <laughs> Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. <laughs> 